My name is Autumn Adams and I'm interviewing my great grandma Kerner living on a Kansas farm as a little girl. What was it like growing up on the farm? It was kind of rough because we had to go out and get a bucket of water to bring in because we had no inside water. We had outside toilets that we had to go out in the toilets <laughs> in the cold. And, and um, we had kerosene lamps that we had to light. We didn't have electricity, didn't have refrigerators. But kind of a rough life, electricity came. Where was your farm at? Well, the first farm that I lived in was in the industry. And then it got older, we moved to Wakefield. How old were you when you started working on the farm? Oh, probably around 12 years old, as far as outside work. How many farm animals did you have? Well, we had um, cows, of course, and uh, they worked horses at that time. <coughs> and I worked, um, we had sheep, calves, pigs, just about everything that way. What is different about your farm then and the farms now? World difference. Back then, they used to use horses to pull the machinery, and uh, wheat was made by uh, shuck them up, <laughs> shuck them in piles, and then they had to run them through a way. They had to <laughs> shove them through it. Mm -hmm. What was the lesson you learned on the farm? <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the farm very good, mm -hmm. but it was hard work and lots of work. We used to milk cows by hand, milk them in a bucket, and then we'd carry it to the house, run it through a separator, and crank that thing, mm -hmm. and we'd take the milk back out to the calves that was run through the separator, and then we'd take the cream and sell it to the mm -hmm. store. Okay. Who has been the biggest influence on your life when being on the farm? What lesson did that person teach you? I think my husband did the biggest influence because he helped me get out to the farm and had chickens, and we had chickens. And mm -hmm. When we had wheat, uh, he let me haul wheat to the town at Wakefield. I was the first woman to in a truck and haul that wheat to Wakefield elevator. Next year there was a lot of women that was running. Men didn't think their wives could do it, but mm -hmm. found out I could, so their wives could too. That concludes my interview with my great-grandma, Kerner, living on a Kansas farm as a little girl.